Hi, my name is Lizzie Main, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a swirl and then turn that swirl into a filigree component that can be used for pattern making later. Just move those off. First we need a circle. Let me just explain first of all, I've been trying to find how to make a swirl in Silhouette Studio. Um, if you use the freehand tool up here and try to draw a swirl, you then have to try and smooth all the nodes off and it's a bit of a faff. I mean, the way I'm going to do it is a bit of a faff, but at least you've got smooth lines all along. If you've got Illust Illustrator, that's fine. They've got a, a button there that will make an automatic swirl. But for those who don't have other vector graphic um, applications, then drawing a swirl, this is the only way i found to draw a swirl in a silhouette. We take the circle and we're going to um, edit its points because what we want to do is to delete it, the points and end up with just one arc of this circle. So select a node, we go and we want to delete, um, no we don't, we want to break up the path. If you press your shift key and click on that will separate the nodes and delete that point and keep deleting until we're left with one arc. Now with that arc we want to copy it so it's control C F or right click copy and right click paste and we want to go to the scale window and I've already set it to 75% and we want to apply that reduction of 75% to that object. Again we're going to control C F and apply it again. We're going to do this so we end up with six arcs. Four, five, six. So let me just zoom in a bit. Take the first arc and the second arc I want to rotate the second arc by 90 degrees clockwise and then take the third arc, let me just come out of it, take the third arc and rotate that 180 degrees and move that into place. Take the fourth arc and 90 degrees counterclockwise. Move that into position. The fifth one stays as it is. And the sixth one we need to rotate 90 degrees and move that. If you press your space bar, you'll have a little hand that will move your canvas for you. I go to the first arc and the second arc and we're going to click on the alignment and align the top of those. Let me just zoom in a bit more. You need to make these two lines join up and the only way I've found this is to make the two lines that we want to join into a compound path and then edit the nodes. So let's go uh, make a compound path, edit the points. If you click on one of the points it will join up with the other one and now you have one object. We now want to join the third arc to the previous object and again let's line that right right click make compound path right click edit nodes and click on one of the nodes now I want to keep that shape so I'm going to make a copy of that control C F and just move it onto the grey area we're going to go back in and um, continue with editing the nodes. So select the next lot, align bottom, right click, make compound path, 
right click edit nodes click on one of the nodes and you'll now have another one I want to keep this shape so I'm going to zoom back out if you have motion sickness I do apologize for all this zooming in and out I'm going to make a copy of that Control C F and move it over to the grey area I'm going to go back in I'm going to select the previous curl and the one above and I'm going to align that left I'm just going to bring that one down a bit there we go select both again, right click, make compound path right click, edit points and select one of the nodes to join it up let's zoom back out again I'm going to want that shape as well so control C F and bring it over to the right hand side let's go in for the last time and select the last arc and the previous curl and line top again I'm going to just move that in a fraction select the previous curl again right click make compound path right click edit points, click on the point to join up and zoom back out. We now have our finish swirl. Now I want us to make this thicker. I don't want to make the line thicker, I think what I want to do is do an offset of the curl. So we go to the offset window, that's too thick. So if we come back out that's probably about right. I want to do the same to the other three. So go to the offset window and I think that was point zero eight five to apply. There we go. We don't want those middle lines now so we just move those off the canvas. And move the other ones onto the canvas. At this point we need a comma, so go to the text tool and just press comma. I don't want that shape, I want something more round and smooth. So I found that engravers is the one for me, it would help it to spell it properly, there we go. Nope, let's try again. Engravers, there we go, MT. That's the one I want. If you don't have Engravers MT, just find another font that gives you a similar shape. And we want to change that from a text into an object. So if you right click it and do convert to path, it now becomes an object as opposed to a text. Just to enlarge that a bit. We'll need a few copies of those, so again, Control C F. Another way of um, copying is to, if you press the Alt key before you click on the object, then click on the object, you see it goes into a little cross, and then you can drag around. I think that may be enough. So let's take this one here. Now we can either rotate this to get it in position or flip horizontal or flip vertically. I'm going to just get the right hand node and just drag it to the left and then just put this in position. I may need to rotate it a bit more to find the position that you want. You may, you may need to zoom in just to make sure that that's in. That will do. So select the other swirl, right click and weld and then zoom back out. Let's take this shape and again I'm just going to get the left hand node and drag it to the right and put that in position this 
select and weld. And this is where the commas come in. We're going to rotate that. Let's put that in position there. Find another one. Rotate that. And I'm just going to reduce it slightly and put that in position. We may need to fiddle around with it's personal choice really, it's what you like and how you like it. It's fine. Select them all. Right click and weld. Let's take this one. Now I'm going to elongate it a bit. Spin it round and reflect it. Okay, select the other swirl, right click and world. Let's move it up the way. And we need to get another comma. Flip it, elongate it. If you don't like the shape, you can always right click and um, play with the, the nodes. Oh, this is another one that sometimes you have to make into a compound path in order to edit the points. Goodness knows why. If you don't like the shape, you can bring the nodes out a bit. You can even delete some. Delete that one. And just play around really till something takes your fancy. Again, we're going to rotate that. And put it in place. I still don't like the nodes on that one. It's that one there, isn't it? That's because it's a corner. If I click on the node again and make it smooth, that's it. It smooths that out. And again, just smooth that up a bit. Select both. Right click and weld. And there you have your filigree pattern. In the next video I will show you how to turn the filigree pattern into another pattern and then um, we're going to then put it inside another shape. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.